Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go through exercise 1.7 and 1.8 from the Art of Electronics book. Um, this exercise is focused around voltmeters and ammeters. So let's get started. Exercise 1.7 is broken down into two parts. For the first part, um, the question asks us, what will a 20,000 ohm per volt meter read on its 1 volt scale when attached to a 1 volt source with an internal resistance of 10 kilo ohms? So first of all, let's put down everything we know about the information that is given to us from the question, which is always a good start. So we have a power supply, uh, which gives us the 1 volt source that's given on this page here. We have a source resistance, which is internal to the voltmeter, which is 10 kilo ohms. And we have a, a load resistor of 20 kilo ohms as we are set on a 1 volt scale. These are all connected in a loop, so we can put the connection diagrams down. So um, just breaking down the system into smaller bits, um, this is our source with its internal resistance and this is the meter. So first of all, let's calculate the total resistance in this circuit, which is um, equal to RS, this resistor here, plus RL, which is this resistor here. So that's 10 kilo ohms plus 20 kilo ohms, which gives us a total resistance of 30 kilo ohms. Um, using Ohm's law and rearranging it to get current by itself, um, we can calculate the current to be voltage divided by resistance. So we know our source voltage in this case is 1 volt, so that's 1, divided by the total resistance of the circuit, which is 30 kilo ohms we calculated above. And that gives us a current through the circuit in this loop as 0 0.0000. 33 amps or 33 microamps. Next, we can calculate the voltage drop across the load resistor, which is basically the meter. Um, we know the resistance of this device um, is 20 kilo ohms. We calculated the current already, and basically putting that into Ohm's law, V equals IR, we can calculate the um, voltage across the meter to be 0 0.666 volts which is the answer to this question. So now let's move on to the second part of the question. So exercise 1.7 part B, the question asks, what will the meter read when attached to a 10K by 10K voltage divider driven by a stiff one volt source? Now, um, the word stiff is generally used by a power supply which has a very low internal resistance. In this case, the internal resistance is given as 0 ohms. So we can draw this circuit out. So we have two 10K resistors connected as a potential divider and a 1 volt source with no internal resistance. And the meter is still going to be 20 kilo ohms on its 1 volt setting. And we can connect up the circuit like this and the meter is attached across this, the bottom resistor of the potential divider. So we have the source on this side with no internal resistance. We have our meter on this side and the circuit in the middle. To calculate what the question is asking us to do, as in what will this meter read across this point here, we first can calculate the total resistance across of the circuit, which is equal to R1 plus the equivalent resistance of R2 and RL. As they are in parallel, we'll have to use the parallel resistance equation. If you want to know how to derive the equation for parallel resistors, you can watch my earlier video on my channel. So the total resistance is equal to 10k plus 1 over brackets 1 over R2 plus 1 over RL. 
and that gives us a total resistance of 16.67 kilo ohms. So the resistance looking into this part of the circuit and what the resistance that the voltage source will see is 16.67 kilo ohms. And we know the resistance of this part is 10 kilo ohms, so we can say the parallel equivalent resistance of this part of the circuit is equal to 6.67 kilo ohms. Now we know the voltage source, so we can calculate the current going through this node here um, using the total resistance um, and the and the power source. So one volt divided by 16.67 kilo ohms gives us 60 microamps that, that is going through R1 um, and in some combination going down R2 and RL as going off Kirchhoff's current law the current will separate. Um, Kirchhoff's voltage law tells us that the voltage across RL and R2 is going to be equal so we know that, oh, so we can calculate that um, total voltage drop across this node using the equivalent series resist equivalent resistance of these two co resistors in combination, and so that gives us sixty microamps times by six point seven six point six seven kilo ohms, and gives us a voltage of zero point four volts across this node here. And we know that through Kirchhoff's voltage law that the voltage on the meter will also be the same. So the answer to the question is 0 0.4 volts. Now I'm going to go on to exercise 1.8. But before I do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Exercise 1.8 is also split into two parts. For part A, question tells us a 50 microamp meter movement has an internal resistance of 5 kilo ohms. What shunt resistor is needed to convert it to a 0 to 1 amp meter? So a shunt resistor is basically a resistor correct connected in parallel. So as with any question, let's write down or note down all the details that has been given to us by the question. So no, we know we have a 50 micro microamp meter. And it has an internal resistance of 5 kilo ohms, which is um, given by Ri, which I've called internal resistance. And then the question is asking us what sunt resistor is needed to convert it to a 0 to 1 amp meter. And I'm calling that Rs, which basically R shunt. So we know the current going through um, Ri is equal to 50 microamps, which is given to us by the question. We can calculate the voltage drop across Ri, which will be also the voltage drop, voltage drop across Rs um, by using Ohm's law. So V equals IR. So 50 microamps times 5 kilo ohms gives us a voltage drop across Ri of 250 millivolts. U using Kirchhoff's current law, we can calculate the current that we would need to provide through the shunt resistor in order to get one amp through this circuit. Um, as we know, the current going through Ri is 50 microamps. We can calculate the current through the shunt resistor as one amp minus 50 microamps, which gives us the current going through Rs as 0 0.99995 amps. Now we know the current going through the sunt resistor and we know the voltage across the sunt resistor, we can calculate its ohmic value using Ohm's law. So R equals voltage divided by I, so voltage was 250 millivolts and the current was 0 0.99995 amps. So that gives us a resistance of approximately 250 milliohms. And that's the answer to the first part of question 1.8. The second part of question 1.8 um, tells us a 50 microamp meter movement has an internal resistance of 5 kilo ohms. What series resistance will convert it to a 0 to 10 volt meter? So as with any question, let's note down what we know so far. So we have an amp meter with an internal resistance of 5 kilo ohms. 
and we want to convert that to a 0 to 10 voltmeter. So we have Vs and Rs. Uh, we know V is going to be equal to 10, uh, 10 volts as that's given to us by the question. And we know that the ammeter um, is 50 microamps. So using KCL, Kirchhoff's current law, we can say IVS. So the current through this, this power supply here is equal to the current through the ammeter, is equal to the current through the uh, internal resistor. And it's also equal to... Um, the current through this resistor here as the current in this loop is going to be the same. So we can calculate um, basically 50 microamps is equal to 10 volts divided by RT and rearranging that equation or we can make the RT equal um, the total resistance of the circuit is the internal resistance plus the resistor here, the series resistor RS, um, rearranging to get RS by itself, um, we can calculate this as 10 volts divided by 50 microamps minus RI. So that's 10 divided by 50 micro minus 5000. And that gives us an RS value of 195 kilo ohms. And that is the answer to our question. Thank you for watching my video and subscribe for answers to other questions in this book. Thank you for watching. Bye.